Hello! Today I'm showing you how to make a sushi preparation board and first we are starting with the sushi mats. For that I simply used um, beige colored clay and I'm putting some indents with a craft knife. I then painted the white threads with some acrylic paint. Pretty, pretty easy really, nothing too fancy. I decided to make this tutorial because I myself did some exactly the same sushi last week and it was delicious so I had to share it with you and then I also wanted to sculpt the miniature version so that's good enough for me to work on. And now I'm making a nori sheet. Um, I just used some very thin piece of black clay and I'm texturing it with some aluminum foil, cutting it to size and then just placing it on the previously done sushi mat, like this. I'm just adjusting and then I'm starting on the rice. For the rice I cut out some very thin pieces of clay and then I'm rolling each uh, tiny rice. Uh, since it's very time cons consuming, sorry, I thought I just uh, would make a bunch of rice grains and then make a mold um, from it. Um, then I'm using silicon from for that. And so I can replicate and duplicate the rice uh, much more easily and not lose my sanity, which is also um, it's always an added bonus to keep your sanity, I mean. Of course, if you don't care about your sanity, you can make all the rice grains one by one and um, well, put them on your nose sheet. It's up to you really. Then if you use my technique, just uh, cut out some excess rice following the, um, well, the rice shape and like this here there was a, a little bit too much rice so I just adjusted it and um, well go ahead and pretty much just do what I'm doing on the video. It's always odd to say out loud what is obvious, stating the obvious, basically. Um, so I, I think the video is pretty self-explanatory. And then I just cut out a little bit from the sushi mat because I thought it was just too big. For the avocado, please check the link for the whole tutorial because I was too lazy to redo it and also because I didn't want to redo it since I had some scrap avocado. And then I just texture it and cut it in two like I do with real sushi and put it on top of the rice. I suppose you can al always use whatever you want to put in your sushi. Um, I like mine to uh, be delicious. <laughs> <laughs> That's stupid to say. <laughs> no, I really like the combination of avocado and sweet potato and breaded tofu and I usually even add cucumber to that and I think it, it works very well together. So, And then you just add some extra paint because it's roasted sweet potato, so you really want um, that extra crisp coloring. And then I did some breaded tofu, because I love breaded tofu. <laughs> breaded tofu is the best, really. If you want to know more about how I do it in real life, I basically just marinate it in, in a soy sauce and tamari, tamarind sauce. And then I just dunk, it, dunk them, the sticks, in some breadcrumbs and then saute them in a pan. So it's very easy, nothing fancy, but it is delicious. 
um, and I thought, yeah, I really like um, when when you have in California rules some kind of texture. So I like the the sweetness of the sweet potato, the fatty um, comfort from the avocado, and the crispiness from the breaded um, tofu. So and I added cucumber as well in my real ones for the freshness. So if you make sushi at home, I highly recommend these. The, the combination really works well. And here you just saw me do the sweet potato and I'm actually almost at the end. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And let me know below if you liked it. And give it a thumbs up. <laughs> And also, don't forget to subscribe and all that stuff. And well, I really hope to see you in my next video. Bye!